Hello guys, welcome to my channel R2 and today we're going to continue our tank game. If you didn't see the part 1 of tank game yet, then please check it out. So let's get into it. So first, we'd want to, here's where we left off, our turrets point at us, but we can't shoot yet. And we can move as well. So that's where we left off. So let's make ourselves a bullet. Make it as small as you can, as like not as small as you can, but don't make it too big otherwise it will block the gameplay. So that will be my simple cannon. Of course, you can add better graphics. So right now it does nothing. Of course, we didn't put anything in the code. So we need to do whenever the space key is clicked. Uh, it switches costume to costume one. So we're actually going to make another costume. Which is the explosion costume. Uh, I guess I'll just put spikes around the. Uh, yep. Like, of course, you can make it look better. Because this does not look good right now. But uh, I guess this is fine. As I'm just explaining the tutorial right now. Yeah, it looks a bit like fried egg, but of course I can't do anything about it. So yeah, I guess that's the explosion. So if the player turns equal to 1, so it's player 1's turn. Then it's gonna set. We need to make more variables. One's gonna be a vertical uh, speed, and the other one's gonna be cannon speed. So at first, we set the vertical velocity to zero, the vertical speed. And then we set the cannon speed to P1 power. We don't need to show these variables. I'll be showing the player's turn just so that we know. And we go to the shooter. Which is this. And point in the direction of P1 shooter as well. Yep. And then forever. We move cannon speed divided by 15 steps. So cannon speed, oops, I accidentally run the code, divided by 15 steps. Change Y and then we change Y by the vertical velocity. So yeah, that's going to be there. And then we change the vertical velocity 
by minus one. Minus one. And then we do if uh, the it's touching the ground, so uh, the green color. Where is that? Uh, yep, touching the green color or it's touching the edge. Mm, where's that? Yep, here. Touching edge. Then we're gonna switch costume to costume two. We actually need we don't need this costume because it's gonna stamp and make a hole. So instead of this we can we should have put the background sky color which will make a hole. So the background sky color to check it you can just take the paint tool, take the eyedropper, and then come back here and then you have the color right here, so just make the circle and you'll be done. So the size of the circle will depend on how big of a dent it will leave on the on the battleground. So right now it's not visible as it's blue in color and it's submerged with the background. So I'll show you how this affects the game in a while after I make show you the code. So get the pen extension. You'll find it by pressing this and clicking pen. And then stamp. So that will make the hole in the battleground. And also set the player to player to player turn. To player 2. And then just stop this clip. Uh, where's the, yep, here, stop the script, and if it's touching, yep, if it's touching P2 tank, so the opponent's tank, uh, the opponent tank, will be P2 tank. So if it's touching that, then we broadcast P2 hit. P2 tank uh, explode. Yep. And that's it for the player 1 code. Now we'll do the same thing with player 2. So to do this quickly, I'll just be duplicating this and setting this to player 2. And the vertical speed will be the same. We use player 2 power. And we go to player 2 shooter. And we point in direction of player 2 shooter. And we set the player turn to player 1. And also, if the P1 tank is touching, then we broadcast P2 tank, P, oops, P1 tank explode. Uh, so let's put that in the code, and let's just make the end ending of the game. Uh, yep, I guess we can just put it over here, and we're... And then for the ending, whenever, so here we can put, if the player 2 is hit, I mean the player 1 is hit. So when I receive player 1 tank explode, so let's make another costume, which is explode. Uh, time to make the fried egg thing again. Because I'm not very good at making stuff. Uh, yellow. Yeah, I guess that color. 
it's fine. That is yellow. Yep. And let's make it this color. Oops. I guess I'll just overlap with the circle. And that will be the explosion. I'll put the same thing for P2 tank. We have the costume too here as well now. And when yeah, we receive this, it changes costume to costume 2. And for this when it receives P1 tank expo yeah, I, and then we stop all, I guess. Or we can have another uh, backdrop and put game over. Game over. I just, y you can duplicate this and put the game over over this. And then it will be a bit better, I guess. Your choice of how you want the game over screen. You can make it look all nice and stuff, but. Well, I'm to like I'll just be showing you how to make the tank game the game over screen. You can probably do it on your own and switch costume to costume two. And for this, we just hide these. So when I receive P1 tank explode hide, uh, and P2 tank. Hide. Okay, so let's run the program. Wait, in the start, we need to change the backdrop to backdrop one. And when we receive either P1 tank explode or P2 tank explode, we change the backdrop to backdrop two. So let's run the code. So for some reason it's shooting downwards. Let's troubleshoot our program. Not sure what went wrong. P2 shooter, P2 shooter. Uh, so apparently I I put exposition it's supposed to be direction. So now it's supposed to work. Yep, it works. So I think the explosion is too small. And to fix that, just make this circle bigger. And that will be the size of the explosion. I guess we can make it small. This much is fine. Yep. And also, we actually need to clear everything in the start. Where's that? When clicked, clear all. We'll find it in pen. Yeah, erase all. And when we start the program, we'll see this, but when you will start shooting, it will be fine. Three hours later. So I've been playing for a while, and when we shoot the opponent, how am I missing? Yep, it says the game over screen. So yep, that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful or know somebody else who just started scratch and doesn't know how to do these stuff, then please share this video and subscribe as I'll be uploading many types of videos of this level. Also check out my other videos as well they can help you as well. I also make Arsenal videos and well Roblox videos so check them out as well. And like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.